Hey everybody, it's Marcus. In today's video, we're gonna hop into Premiere and we're gonna get that Cinebloom, Dream Effects, Pro Mist filter look on your footage inside Premiere without the filter. So stick around and we're gonna get this done. Okay, so briefly let me explain what's going on here in this frame. This is just Canon R5 4K 120 footage with a LUT, one of my LUTs on there, and um, we'll talk about that in a second as we uh, put this effect on here. But as you can see, the lights are stretching out right there, and that is the um, Prism Lens Effects Chromatic Flare Filter. So that and an ND filter is the only things that I have on my lens right now. I would have used my Dream Effects or my uh, um, ProMesh filter, but I forgot them. So sometimes uh, you can kind of fake this and it'll give you the effect that you want. And then I'll show you how to um, kind of dial it in here in a second. Okay, so let's make this as quick as we can, as quick as possible. Like I said, um, this is Canon R5 footage, 120 frames per second, 4K. And um, over here, as I said, I'm using the chromatic flare filter to get these flares from the hazard lights that are blinking on and off. But um, what you want to do is, and I have a ton of these LUTs that I've made on my site. I'll link them down below. Um, they're really affordable and really great. They're based on my uh, Lightroom presets that people tend to love. So I'm going to use a PPE Kings LUT. And you want to drag a... Um, a LUT or a, you know color grade your footage on the actual clip before you duplicate it so the next thing we're going to do is duplicate this and this is where we're going to start to um, see our results so you just hold option and drag up and it'll duplicate the clip so make sure you have this clip uh, um, on top selected you're gonna go over here you're gonna type in Gaussian blur GAU will open it up and get you there you're gonna drag this onto the top clip um, you're going to select blurriness. It started at like around 200%. I found works pretty well. And you see how it's not going all the way to the edge of the frame. You're going to want to hit repeat edges. Okay. So that's all you really have to do there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to key it. So if you just type in key, the one you're going to want is luma key. If you don't understand this, it's not a big deal. So drag luma key over here and put it on top of the Gaussian blur. So once we have this on top of the Gaussian Blur, go down to the Gaussian Blur and select Blending Mode to Screen. And this is where we're going to have actual control over um, dialing in where we want with the Luma Key. Okay, so this is where the heavy lifting comes in. So if you drag your cutoff all the way down to the bottom on the Luma Key, um, down to 0%, and I keep my threshold like around like 92, 93, something like that, you're going to see that it's just like having a really heavy um, filter on your lens uh, dream effects filter it's applying over top of the whole image you can see her eyes her skin everything has about the same amount of um, bloom on it so pay attention to this headlight as we bring the cutoff over you're going to see that it's going to start to bring the effect down right you can see that headlight blooming out and it's not so much on her skin anymore right so i want to I kind of want to adjust this a bit to where I can see a little bit of it, not everywhere, and soften up the image too much. But you can see the highlights come back in her face, and I'm getting a little bit of this on the light. So somewhere around like 76 is pretty good for this. And then I'll turn it off. And you can see that it's only kind of affecting where we want to on the lights. Now, if I drag this back down, and then now we're getting a little bit more of a bloom effect so it's really um easy to dial in less on the cutoff is going to give you just a bloom that goes kind of everywhere higher on the cutoff is going to give you one that's um kind of more manageable around certain parts that you want so you're not kind of stuck like you are with a filter it's not that same identical effect and i use them both i like my dream effects filter but um like i said i forgot on this day so i'll let this footage play and you can see that on the bumper here see how that's blooming out and then I'll cut it off and you can see that there's no bloom on the bumper anymore I'll cut it back on now you can see that it's nice and dreamy I really like this effect it adds to the overall um, just dreaminess of the actual clip I haven't edited these yet and cut them together or put them to music or anything like that but um it's uh, actually a really cool effect and let's get to another part of this real quick before I cut this video off okay so here's another part so you can actually look at the bumper right and um, I'll just turn this layer off and you can see that it's actually putting it on where all the uh, highlights are 
the bumper and if we change the cutoff again we can kind of pull those down and it's less take it all the way over to the side and it's just out of control um that may be the look you're going for me i'm somewhere like in the middle guy so i'll kind of just get till i get a little bit like a 45 percent now we can cut it off completely kind of dull and uh sharp put it on and it's a little bit dreamy and uh it really comes to life whenever the um the uh, yellow lights blink on and off so uh, you can use this on a multitude of images so if you don't really like to be limited by having a filter on and be stuck with what you get coming straight out of the camera you can have this on and off you can see all that crazy bloom on the bumpers right there so please like and subscribe and go to Profoto Edits where you can download my LUTs and Transition Pack. It's a bundle. I have some really awesome LUTs in there. It's very affordable. Until next time, love you guys. Later.